general thoughts. Hitch and Sunny do have a lot of chemistry together considering they grew up together. Even though they do fight from time to time, they always manage to pull through for each other. They work together rather well when they're able to. General rating, 8 out of 10. Personal thoughts. I think it's because they grew up together, but the way they bicker and how they act with each other, they feel more like siblings to me, so personally I don't ship it. Personal rating, 3 out of 10. General thoughts. Izzy and Sunny have always had a strong connection since the movie, with Izzy being Sunny's first unicorn friend. There's also a lot of weird romantic tension between them in certain scenes of the movie. Their personalities bounce off each other really well, and because of that, I wouldn't be surprised if this ship ever became canon. General rating, 10 out of 10. Personal thoughts, although I do like the ship compared to their relationship now to, you know, the show. Even though it could still likely become canon, I see them more as friends in the show itself, and then them just having a crush on each other in the movie. Plus, Moonstar has kind of become that one overrated ship. It's not bad, in fact it's good, but, but literally everyone ships it. You get what I'm saying? Personal rating, 7 out of 10. General thoughts? Honestly, these two have like some of the best chemistry in the show. They bounce off each other very well with their personalities, with, with Zip being a detective and Hitch being a sheriff. That is a perfect setup. When it comes to taking action, they almost always do it together. So for a general rating, I'd have to give this a 10 out of 10. Personal thoughts. This ship feels way too much like Soren and Rainbow Dash. And I think you know why. Like, come on. That's, they're not. Zip is a freaking lusp. It's also just another case of this ship feels really overrated because it feels like everyone ships it. So for a personal rating, um, three out of 10. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of it, I'm sorry. I think the artist x artist works really well. Despite Pip and Izzy not being the same type of artist, they still get each other's struggles. Like Pip literally helped Izzy out of her art block and make your mark. That was, that, that was so sweet. But despite the fact that they've had some troubles in the past, they haven't let that stop them from being close. Like, that's really good. In general, I would give this uh, an 8 out of 10. Personal thoughts? Yes, 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 yes. 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. My favorite. General thoughts. They have what I thought Izzy and Sunny were going to have in the show. They're very close with each other and have a strong emotional bond. Another ship that I wouldn't be surprised if it became canon. Personal thoughts? Like moon petals? Yes, absolutely. My fave zip ship. Oh my egg. Now, Hitch and Misty don't have much chemistry that could result in anything romantic mutually. I've literally never seen a scene in both Tell Your Tale and Make Your Mark that could make anyone think that they romantically like each other. Hi, it's DJ Axel. Uh, in the final editing phase of this video, I forgot about a certain scene in Secrets of Starlight where they're skating together, but I still stand by what I said. I don't think that if it was romantic that it would be mutual. So... Uh at the very least, one of them could develop like a small crush on another, but aside from that, I can't really see them getting together canonically at all. So for a rating, I'd give it a 2 out of 10. Personally, I mean, I get the idea. Both having traits of Fluttershy, Hitch representing kindness and being good with animals, and Misty being shy and having a butterfly kitty mark, but I stand with the general statement. I'm not really crazy for this ship, but it's not bad. Uh, 2 out of 10 again. Wow, Hasbro screwed us over with this one. They took a ship that was kind of good and said, Hey, actually, we're making them siblings because Queen Haven and Alpha Biddle are dating. So I shouldn't need to explain why this ship is wrong. Incest is bad. I don't support pro shipping. So zero out of ten. This also applies to Petal Dawn. Don't even get me started. No personal thoughts on this one because I agree with the general statement. Let's move on. Peek. They'd actually be kind of great together. Misty being Izzy's first unicorn friend, someone she can share Bridalwood culture with, is a very sweet dynamic, especially since Misty's still learning about Bridalwood culture herself. 
since her memory of Bridalwood is still a little bit fuzzy. Now, while I do like the dynamic personally, which I will discuss shortly, I don't think it's gotten to a point where I could see it being as anything more than just platonic in the canon of the show. Maybe once they expanded upon it more, it'll be different. So, 6 out of 10. It's a nice dynamic, I get the idea, but because it's not super expanded upon yet, and also because I like other certain ships better with Izzy Misty, I'd have to give it a 5 out of 10. Sunny and Misty have grown very close. They started forming a very strong emotional bond when Misty first joined the group. Sunny has always been there for Misty and continues to do so, and Misty also returns the favor by being there for her. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. Personally, this is probably one of my favorite Misty ships, like I'm not even kidding. Their dynamic together is so sweet, and how they're able to just kind of understand each other, even though they've obviously not been in the same situations, is still really, really sweet. It's a 10 out of 10. So this ship started because of a certain scene in the movie. It's supposed to be my best show ever. Now it's all over. I'm a criminal. And it's all because of them. And it kind of spiraled out of control. Also, it's because it's the Night X Princess trope, which I totally dig, and a lot of other people do too, which is probably why it's kind of popular. Hitch is very caring and sweet towards Pip, while Pip, well, she's also sweet towards Hitch, but she'll never pass up the chance to tease Hitch and call him a scaredy cat, which is kind of really funny, so I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. So, I have some history with this ship. I used to be the number one fan of it, but honestly, I'm not as big as a fan as I used to be. I've kind of grown out of this ship, and I'm also one of the people that started shipping it because of that one scene in the movie, but of course, you already know there's a certain other Pip ship that I prefer a lot more now, so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. Izzy and Hitch together romantically is something that is less than likely. They have a nice relationship, but not anything that I believe would turn romantic in the show's canon. I think the appeal of the ship is Sirius X Goofball, which might remind some people of Twipi, but if you want a ship that's more like Twipi in G5, I'd say Moonstar is more your best bet. 0 out of 10. Not gonna give a personal statement because I agree with everything that I said generally. So you know how I said if you wanted a more Twipi ship from this generation, uh, Moonstar would be your best bet? Well, that and also this one. I think when it comes to the serious X goofball trope, they do this one a lot better, plus they have way more chemistry. While this ship is better than Moonblazer, uh, it's not really likely to become canon. Well, maybe. I mean, there was that whole Hearts and Hooves Day episode, but yeah, I don't think that this would become canon. So, yeah, I know that I haven't gotten to all of the ships, but I got to most of them involving the main cast, especially some popular ones, which is what I wanted to do. But I would not be opposed to making a part two to this video if you guys want, only if you guys want. And also, please tell me if you guys like the style of video, because I, if that's the case, then I will do more like this. Oh, and also, um, happy Pride Month! Yes, this is gonna be my video for this month. I mean, like, celebrating this month, not, like, the entire month. I'm probably gonna make another video for the month, but, you know. <laughs> um, also, I have a Ko-Fi if you guys could go support me on there. And you can commission me through my Ko-Fi as well. Um, yeah, that's the video, but, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, ye